Hey, how's it going today, guys? Hi. Hey, Bernard. Go get us jump into this. Uh, there's been a rena- I think there's a renaissance when it comes to video games being turned into films and television shows. It's been a long running gag that you know they've been bad, primarily, but now they have t- seemed to become much better. What do you both think is the reason behind that? I mean, I, I think it's a hard formula, right? And and in fact, there isn't a formula, and that's part of the challenge. I think, um, you know, I think a lot of it has to do with, you know, I have been in games and have always believed that game IPs and these worlds are so worthy of exploration in other mediums. And I think now that we're seeing more of these come out, you know, we're all exploring the space. We're all trying to figure out the right approach to this. And, you know, early on it was, you only thought about feature films and and now thankfully um, uh, we're able to to do this longer format storytelling. And and so I think it's really, it's been the exploration process. And this is an experiment for us that, you know, we approach it in the way that we believed would really let the story be as good as it can be. And knowing that our goal was to focus on character development and and exploring characters from the game in a way that feels different, right? One of the goals was we want this to feel like a differentiated experience and be delightful because we're bringing people into the halo world and it feels real and realized and the scope and the scale is there and these characters they love but we get to explore them differently right and so that's why sort of moving into the silver timeline and being of canon but being able to make some different creative choices is kind of the path we decided to take and 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 you know, we'll we'll actually continue to learn from it as as we go along as well. Awesome. Now, uh, Stephen, can, the the decision to take off Master Chief's helmet was a very pivotal and uh, pivotal dis, uh, decision. Why do you? Can you explain to those uh, you know upset about that? You know, because the whole idea about Master Chief was always that anyone could be Master Chief. Can you explain to them why this was more important for this show to take off his helmet? Well, I mean, I think Kiki can speak to a lot of what the thinking was b- before I came on board. But, you know, mm-hmm. as Kiki likes to say, there is not really just one Master Chief. There are millions of Master Chief stories. Everyone who plays the game um, is Master Chief. So we thought, again, to make this into a different medium, to tell a, a fictionalized story over you know, many seasons and many episodes, uh, it, it sort of we didn't come with a, a, a dictate to sort of not take it off or take it off, just see where the story mm-hmm. took us. And when you're talking about following Master Chief as a character, as a human being, it felt like the organic choice to make. Now that came with a lot of baggage because of the importance to the, to the fans. And I can let Kiki speak to that. Um, but I, I would say that we didn't take it lightly. <clears throat> and even the moment when it happens is, is done with purpose and it's always story driven. And I think just to go back to your question about video games versus other medium, I think the key is to be successful in television and features, you have to tell story with great characters and if you focus on that and bring the game along then you'll be successful so in that that sort of decision making came about here is you know we can't be everyone choosing their own adventure when you're telling a a tv series Mm -hmm. this is the master chief story that we're telling awesome well that's my time as a halo fan i think you guys delivered it's awesome i love the first two episodes and i can't wait to see the rest thank you very much thank you very much thank you thank you you're welcome